means a lot of different fund managers companies come out to filings to tell us what they were holding at least a snapshot as of the end of last quarter berkshire hathaway's uh, report of course is all we've hotly anticipated and watched what Warren Buffett is investing in. So we got some interesting revelations this quarter. First of all, $8.6 billion stake in Verizon, which, full disclosure, is the parent company of Verizon Media Group and Yahoo Finance. Uh, $4.1 billion in Chevron, um, also sold out of an investment in Pfizer, increased stakes in some of the other drug makers, and also uh, trimmed some stakes in the bank, sold off the remaining $93 million investment in J.P. Morgan, and trimmed a Wells Fargo holding by $1.4 billion. So uh, interesting here, uh, these various moves. Um, Brian Sazi, um, what's your takeaway here as you look at some of these numbers? Well, I'm going to, I'll, I'll lock in on, on our parent company, Verizon. Uh, Verizon shares, uh, it is the second most traffic ticker on the Yahoo Finance platform right now, and understandably. But look, uh, Miles has been fo following Warren Buffett for years, and I would argue this is a classic Warren Buffett type of investment. You look at the stats right now, P multiple, about 10 and a half times on Verizon, yielding about 4.5%, building out. Uh, 5G infrastructure. This is something that I think Buffett has gotten a lot more familiar with, uh, with given his Apple holdings and how they're rolling out or they have rolled out the 5G iPhone. This is a classic bet on America Miles. And, and you know what? So is Chevron, even though Chevron, Chevron, I would say, has really been struggling here. Yeah, I think um, if you look at the portfolio over the last couple of years, um, I mean, take the Amazon stake, for instance, uh, clearly that's more, um, you know, Ted and Todd influence um, w within what Berkshire is holding. The Verizon one, Sazi, I would agree, does sound like kind of classic Buffett. To me, though, it does feel like he's kind of just clipping the dividend. I mean, I think Verizon stock is four and some change uh, percent dividend yield. Not a lot of yield to go around right now. Obviously, Berkshire's always had a huge, um, you know, treasury position. And for a couple of years there, 2017, 18, actually wasn't the worst thing in the world. You actually were getting a couple percentage points, you know, in ones and twos and, and fives and stuff like that. Now, obviously, uh, you're getting pretty much zero across the board. Um, but it's surprising, I, I guess, like, I, so you run through those stats. Sides. The other thing with Verizon stock, it's gone nowhere in kind of a long time. Maybe the view is that uh, after so many years of basing, and Jared will tell us this, you know, from the technical perspective, um, you create a base for a long time uh, and, and you break to the upside, which Verizon has absolutely not done. But if it did, then maybe, and I don't know, Warren Buffett's not really a technician, maybe then that's part of the bull case. The 5G stuff, I know it's the thesis, doesn't really do a lot for me. I'm and I'm not really sure where this is happening, how much this is impacting people's lives. But as you mentioned with the Apple stake, um, it is a nice complement to that position. But uh, I think for the size of the stake, you know, eight eight some billion dollars, um, you know, you take four percent of that each year. Now you're talking real money. Um, and so it feels to me like that's the real impetus here is just to get a little bit of cash generation. Uh, and one other thing I would say is away from that increasing his stake. It's interesting to me to the trimming of the financials. And yes, of course, Buffett has been a longtime bull on the financials and has had a lot of appreciation of that since the financial crisis when he was sort of a longtime supporter. Nonetheless, we have a lot of investors coming on pointing to, you know, expansion for the financials, right? If you've got a yield curve um, that is steepening, that's going to be good for the financial companies. If you've got rates rising, if you've got the economy growing. All of these things traditionally are good for financial firms. So it's interesting timing there as well to have him get out of a JP Morgan. Wells Fargo is sort of its own case, I suppose. Um, but still, that to me is also kind of an, an interesting move, even if the remaining stake in JP Morgan was, by Berkshire standards, uh, pretty minor here. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, I think you look at um like the Bank of America, right? He was clipping that coupon for a long time where he was waiting to, you know, he was taking the preferred and then he converted it over to common. Obviously, we all know the story uh, with Goldman from back in the day. And I think another thing too, and and hopefully we, we hear about this um, when we hear from Buffett at that odd, it's kind of gonna be the same thing, I, I guess, as, as last year, the annual meeting. Um, there won't be the whole hoopla over there um, in Omaha, but hopefully we'll hear from him and Charlie for some time. And um, I think the speed with which this crisis came and went probably also leaves Buffett sitting there thinking, um, well, I, I guess that was it. I mean, I think he'd probably be the first one to tell you the math suggests there won't be another major crisis um, before the end of his investing career. And this one came and went in about six weeks. And I don't think those kind of fat pitch opportunities 
you know, Lloyd Blankfein calling him in the middle of the night begging for capital. Uh, that didn't really happen, um, even though it seemed like it might for a time. Fed stepped in, things turned around quickly. And so uh, there's, you know, the story remains the same, right? We go back in time seven years. Buffett's got all this cash. What's he going to do with it? Well, 2021, Buffett's got all this cash. What's he going to do with it? And I think uh, the answer is there is, you know, the same as it was then. No one really knows. Yes, except for the little bit that we get a window into 